heart attack Fast fatal heart impact Past painful scars In fact, I blast tasteful bars And past I back up my actions Fact, don't ask Grab reactions Jack attack with every word Then act with class As they hear me snap I got nothing to lose Cause I fought and felt the bruise Now I'm not the one confused Call the shots and they produce I ain't lost, I'm finally loose Pick a new so urge juice I need the views to boost me To a new abuse of being used Everybody wants a piece now Y'all can rest in peace now You're dead to me, so peace out Remember you're discreet now Get ready for defeat Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kirisho, fuck me, I'm sorry, I cannot take this what if seriously, I'm trying to, anyways, so, brief explanation as to why this is out later, my dumbass spilled water on my headsets, and my actual mic. I had to dry it off and actually make sure my audio was actually still good. So I've been testing it out for a little while while I do have my phone charged. Anyways, let us begin. Whenever we last left off with Mineta... <sighs> okay, completely serious. Whenever we last left off with Mineta, I believe that he was around the age of 7 to 8 years old. And he's been learning a bit more about his quirk. Exactly what he can do with it. Now, Mineta, he has also been getting a bit more serious. His usual diet going from crappy junk food to actually trying to prepare normal, good, healthy meals. As soon as he did change up his diet, his quirk, it really appreciated it. Along with his body. His body got physically tougher looking, since he actually began to grow and actually show a bit more muscle. And his rounded face actually sharpened out. Now, along with that, he does begin to try and learn a bit more about his quirk. He can do complete slime, stick to anything. Basically his hair, he can throw it into chunks. And as far as he knows, he can survive any injury. With the simple fact that if he just turns the parts of his body that are injured into slime, they'll completely reform, brand new. So yeah, that is quite interesting. Now, while Mineta did discover all of this, he continues to try and work out. While his dad does continue on his regular work routines and stuff like that, and his mom basically gawks at pro heroes. Along with the fact that she's also trying to find pictures of... Well, I'm just going to straight out say it. Shirtless pro heroes. Like All Might whenever he was in his prime, or probably Endeavor. That's probably the weirdest thing I have probably ever said in my entire life. And I 100% don't understand why I do this to myself whenever I make this what if. Ah. Anyways. Now. Along with that, a lot of people, they do begin to talk with Mineta. And he does try and explain his quirk whenever they do ask about it. And they do try and get him to train or at least show it off. Mineta wants actually showing off his abilities by melting his arm down at while it's at his side and his fingers beginning to stick together before they begin to morph and actually form a solid looking blade. Mineta's still not used to it, but he does need to at least find a way to harden the slime in his hand. If he can do that, then this thing wouldn't just be for show. He can actually probably at least do a lot of damage whenever he's fighting someone. And it would be pretty easy for him to actually capture someone. Since he could probably make like things like slime rope, slime 
wait. Him beginning to think. Slime weapons. One thing that would be useful since it is sticky. A slime whip. Veneta actually somewhat writing that down. He does keep his own little journal about what he can do with his quirk, and that's about it. It's not a pro hero journal, it's just a notepad that has ideas that he can do with his quirk and test out theories on it. Since he does take himself to be a bit more serious. Now, along with that, Aneta, he does begin to train more and go through physically extreme exercises, considering what he already has to do. Now, with that being said, Mineta, a lot of people do actually ask him what he's doing today, as he is currently at the age of 14. And Mineta, he does try and explain himself. He's going to go out and try and make some designs to his hero costume. He has a lot of ideas, but still, it's a bit weird. Especially his original design. He sort of built off of that and scrapped most of it. Or at least this really stupid thing he had. He thought it would be cool, but it ended up just looking stupid, so he just kept it as a belt. For those of you curious, I'm referring to that fucking diaper. That he basically wears. It's so stupid. It's just... I think that if it was just more like the pants like this, that would be a lot better looking. Then you could probably tolerate his design. Like, I just don't understand it. Anyways, now. It is announced that Mineta, he actually is going to be trying to take the entrance exam. Next year. Whenever it does come around. A lot of people, some are impressed, and some are actually a little bit jealous. And Mineta doesn't really care. He could basically try and be cocky or do anything like that, but he's sort of got a mentality to himself. He tries not to let his quirk inflate his ego. Since if he does, it's going to be not fun. He doesn't want to be a show-off and one of those heroes. He genuinely believes that he could do something for better. Or help out for the better of people. Now, with that being said, he does actually decide to head over to the mall. After school is over. And whenever he does actually begin to head there, there is a bit of a loud commotion. And... Whenever he does go in and see what's going on, you do have Bakugo and the Sludge Villain. That being where Mineta, he's kind of shocked at what's going on. As he begins to try and question people, trying to ask exactly what is that villain doing and what's his quirk. Many people just telling him that that villain, they're not too sure what his quirk actually is. It's possibly a form of slime. Shit. I... I don't know if I could... You say something, kid? Well, no, it's just... My quirk's pretty similar. Are you serious? So, do you know how to beat him? W well, I do have one idea, but I'm not too sure about it. Well, kid, go try and tell the pros. Maybe you could... As soon as it is said, some green-haired guy goes running out. And he throws his backpack at the sludge villain. Mineta just watching. Lots of pro heroes trying to yell at the kid to get back. And Mineta does try and get through the crowd. As soon as he does jump through and try and run forwards to try and help the guy, whenever he does begin to claw into the sludge villain, Midoriya, he actually does begin to get sucked in and pulled in. Mineta basically grabbing his hair and pulling out a chunk of it. As, whenever he does begin to pull, it actually does elongate. Mineta actually just flinging out his arm afterwards and creating a whip of slime. People watching as his hand, it's basically turned purple, 
along with the fact that it looks like a long string. And Mineta does actually begin to try and pull. Trying to pull Midoriya out. Now, while well, that's going on, some pro heroes do actually begin to run over to Mineta and try to pull both these two out. As soon as the pro heroes get to them, All Might already came in and sent a punch outwards and sent the sludge villain flying away, along with actually changing the weather. Now, before the weather does actually set it in change, All Might does begin to scold and talk to everyone about this young boy. Whenever they learned that he was corkless, they began to scold him. However, All Might actually defended Midoriya, saying that he is one of the two brave young men that ran into danger head first, no matter if they had a quirk or not. Along with that, this young boy, he tried to help out whenever he believed he could. Uh, 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 th- thanks, Mr. All Might. No problem, young man. But what is your quirk? It looked... Yeah, it was kind of similar to his. I mean, I'm not related to the guy or anything, but it's just that... From what I could tell, he was a bit more... Drippy. Does that make sense? A uh, kind of young man. That was, I believe, sludge. Especially because of his smell. Y- yeah, well, I'm sort of slime. My entire body is made of slime, basically. I can turn into it or do whatever I want with it. It's also very sticky. Oh, I see. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean... Mineta just walking over to a wall and putting his hands on it. Showing what he means by that. Beginning to climb up. With that going on, Midoriya is walking home. And All Might, he does actually see this young boy, Mineta, as someone who could be a good candidate. However, he only jumped in after someone else did. So, that means that that other young boy, his instincts and what he did, what he did, it might be a better choice. Him meeting Midoriya and giving him the explanation as to canon. Yes, he can be a hero. And he will train him. Now, along with that, All Might actually did want to talk to Mineta and see if he could sort of help. Mineta's quirk is very versatile. Along with that, the boy did seem to be in good shape. He at least seemed to be in the proper shape that he wants this other young boy to be in. So, training partners for exercises might actually be very useful and beneficial. Especially since talking to this young boy revealed that he was going to go to UA. And try out during the entrance exams. Now, with that being said, I believe that I can leave this series off of here. And I do hope you guys enjoyed. Since this series is kind of my way of relieving stress, and just to fuck around with things. Like, seriously. If you guys, like, if, to anyone who just clicked on this part randomly and don't know what's going on, go watch part zero. I'm laughing my fucking ass off recording this. And I'm doing it right now. Like, I'm, I was probably laughing a lot during this recording, because I, I know during part, a part zero recording it, I probably had to delete it, like, I believe I said, like, once or twice, because I was laughing too much. Anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed.